Like how graceful and beautiful it is just flying around. Dude, that is amazing! Holy shit! This is quite the scene right here. Don't fly away, buddy. Don't fly away. Alright, I'm going in. What is going on guys? Ryan here back with episode 2 of Pokemon Evolved. Here I am with my Pidgeot and my Blastoise here in this little cage I've constructed right here. See it as how it's only episode 2. I don't see the need to get too built off and crazy. Not to mention, this area is possibly one of the worst, most basic, just, just non-sensual places to, to build a place in Ark. But seen as how this is the prime Pokemon hotspot spawning area right now. I figured this was a good place to build my temporary fort. And then like, all those fails will just kind of build a mansion off in some other area. See, the thing is now, my buddy Mystic, the guy who made the mod, has now made a YouTuber server, a Pokemon server, specifically for YouTubers to go and have fun and do their, do their thing. So I might try and draft a few guys onto that world and then just continue my series there. Now, obviously, I wouldn't continue my building here, but I would just spawn in my Blastoise and Pidgeotto or Pidgeot at the same level they are that way. Because these guys are with me now. They're in the server. They're, not go they're in the series. They're not going anywhere. So that's another reason I didn't construct too far from here because I'm not sure of the possibility of that it's like 99% so I don't want to I don't want to build too much. All the Pokemon I catch though do transfer over with me but the buildings do not. So one thing real quick that's just been popping off like crazy. I think right now I'm going to take some I'm going to go try and find some cray cray ass Pokemon. I do have my magnifying glass here so Pokemon that I can't view in their inventory and see their health. Just go ahead and pop that bitch on right there. Blastoise only has 300 health though so that's like Pidgey. God, I almost choked to death. Pidgeot, Pidgeot, not to death. That's an exaggerate, exaggeration. Pidgeot almost has 1,800 health though. He's, he's a beast. I just brain farted like crazy right there. So right now, in addition to just kind of exploring, seeing there's about to be so many more Pokemon added tonight too. It's like, oh my god, so exciting. So I'm gonna go explore around on Pidgeot, find some crazy shiz to tame, as well as level up our Blastoise, cause he's Blastoise. He's got to be a beast, a beast, and he's just spawned at a super low level for some part. I can't even. Okay, once we can access this inventory, that'll be what's key, though. Because we can't even level him up right now, for the time being, which is kind of poopy. But there's just so many Pokemon being added that there's bound to be minor bugs here and there with them as they're updated through, through multiple patches. Creatures should be spawning at a higher level now. If not, they'll be spawning at a duper high level in the server just for the sake of making it fun as shit. But, alright, let's go explore around, buddy. Let's see what's pooping in the world of Pokemon. Dude, one thing that's crazy as hell is just being one of the first guys to play this mod, Mystic's mod. It's like, I've, it's like crazy. I've seen a Mystic, Mystic has gone viral on Facebook. It's trending on Facebook. It's like the biggest thing in the gaming world right now is these Pokemon in Ark, which is just awesome. Huge congratulations to that guy. But then even me just being one of the first people to play it, I've seen so much. Like I've, I've seen me, I've seen my videos on PC Gamer and a few other websites. I've seen Lad Bible shared one of my videos. It's like, it's crazy. Lad Bible is a Facebook page that posts, well, used to post a bunch of girl stuff and awesome stuff, and now it's like half and half crazy videos and half articles on Kim Kardashian. So that shit's kind of, see that salmon looks crazy too, he's not even a Pokemon. Alright, the selections around here are glorious, there's so many options. Look at, look at these guys. Look at them just piling up over here. Little cuddle puddle. See, they do purge each other out though, they don't just all overpopulate the area. Dude, you just fucked that thing up, Ninetales, see that's why I don't mess with Ninetales. Ninetales is one of the strongest creatures in this mod right now for some reason. Such a beautiful, elegant creature. He's about to kill all three of them. He just one-shot at each of them, and there's three Ninetales right there, so I'm getting the hell out of here. That's just... This neighborhood does not seem very welcoming. I kind of want to go park Pidgeot, actually. And somewhere where Pidgeot won't be attacked, I feel like that's everywhere. But I want to go try and see if we can tame that legendary. No, no, no. Taming a legendary just seems like... You know what? Actually, has anything been updated as far as this goes? This is a silly thing to say because it's gonna be updated tonight. I know that for a fact. I even made it clear. For some reason, I still looked through it. Can I leave you here? Someone's gonna attack you. You're very strong though, Pidgeot, but it's I just don't want to lose you. You are my steed. But we're gonna go try and prong that legendary over there. I'm gonna stick this shizzle right up its hizzle and let's just get this on. I realized if I use words with Izzle at the end of it, I end up saying a lot less profane shit throughout the video. Then things get gnarly. I swear to God, there's so many Pokemon over there. Oh, ball sack! Wait, no, 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 I don't have any weapons! Shit! Hang on. Get back. Luckily, this is not electrocute all of us. I need this stun prop for Pokemon, though. Thank you so much. In a, in a way, you just pushed me across the river, so you're all idiots. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Where... Okay, all these Pokemon look hostile as shit. And there's a Spino right there. Just to spice things up a bit. 
Right, I have little to no faith this is gonna go down well, but this is how you learn how to handle Pokemon. This is my first time coming across anything like this. This is all a learning experience right now. I'm this this Pokemon, people were saying it's legendary. It looks pretty damn legendary. It's just this is a generation I haven't played. I haven't played with either of these three Pokemon right here, so this is intense. Although there's many first gens I wouldn't really sneak up to and hit with an electric prod either. You're only level seven though, buddy. Every dino in here. Shit! Shit! Okay, calm down. You knew it was gonna get hostile. You knew this was gonna- if anything, a level 7's for the best, because... Because that means he is weak. Doesn't have a lot of health going for him. Plays a lot of Torpor. Alright. He's having trouble attacking me. You fool! Pidgeot! Oh, god damn it! I can't believe that happened. Pokemon are brutal. Pokemon are messed. I can't believe Pidgeot's dead. He was- he's my first Pokemon. My starter Pokemon made it two episodes. How does that make me feel? Like a horrible asshole. You're at least going down. I can't believe that just happened. I, can't, I seriously, I thought it might like a low level one too. I, sw I must have left him on peaceful. No, that couldn't have happened. That could not have happened. I'm sure he just got jumped by a group over there. That's what I'm gonna tell myself all my life. Dude, this guy! Okay, as long as I keep prodding him, he can't hit me. But he's like not going down either. Requires such a large- He only was able to hit me that first time. This, yeah, it appears, I think he has to stand still for a second before he's able to hit, which is gonna come in handy. I've already hit you too many times with this thing, man. If I call it out now, I'm just a coward. The Pidgeot died for this, yo. You thank God some of these Pokemon are still kind of unbalanced for the time being. No, don't you go in the water! Wait. Wait. I don't have any rare candy to even tame him if he goes down. Son of a bitch. I can't believe we don't have a... We don't have a Pokemon anymore. <laughs> There's, here's the militia coming for me now, dude. I'm not even near Pidgeot. You guys, would you torture him for my location? For my coordinates to come find me? These guys are fucked up, dude. Okay, so that was a big oversight on my part. I forgot we, um, we need Pokemon credits to tame Pokemon. I kind of just, you know, was, I used to just knocking them unconscious and putting food in their inventory. I totally forgot there's an entirely different rebuild. That's on me. That was, that's foolish right there. Dude, Ninetales is just infinitely killing them over there. Oh, look at that Pidgeot getting in there to get some food. I want to go tame that Pidgeot, but it's too soon. Oh my god, dude, that, that creature is a bitch! Look, it's just dead set on getting us. That That is... That's actually... It's almost out of render distance, and he's still locked onto us. That's actually terrifying. I don't like this at all. <laughs> this is ruining Pokemon for me, because it's no longer like just escape, and then you're free. It's like there's actually these giant monsters hunting you down to kill you now with various magical powers it's, it's kind of taking a whole whole evil twist on the whole pokemon thing all right i just spawned myself in some meat because i figured like since this is supposed to be basically pokemon survival and there are convenience stores in pokemon like eating's not i don't really want to go around hunting and killing pokemon and eating them i feel like i feel like you guys would almost just prefer obviously there are food capsules too but sometimes your food drops too low and i feel like like, obviously, the health cap- the food capsules work perfectly, but sometimes- I don't know. Would you guys- I feel like you guys would just prefer me spawn in 30 meat than go hunt and kill Pokemon, because it would kind of completely change the vibe of the entire Pokemon series. Just kind of knowing you guys so far. Okay, so we need credits. We need Pokemon credits. Blastoise is gonna get worked, though, dude. He's only got a couple hundred health. Blastoise, you poor bastard. I feel like it's not safe to take you out of here. It really isn't! Alright Blastoise, we found a target you might be able to kill, buddy. This is, this is messed up right here. Straight up Blastoise versus a Charmander, that should not be allowed. Look at him hustling, he could not be more anxious. Make sure to smack that like button, guys, if you want episode 3. Damn, I thought he was gonna like Hydro Cannon if he just straight up bashes him over the back of the head. That was messed, he's just- Jesus Christ, could he have died any more depressingly? I'm kind of severely worried about my Blastoise right now. He could die so damn easily that, um, and then he'll be the last Pokemon we got. Obviously, he might die. Like, I'm, I'm fully expecting to lose Blastoise. He's only level, he's, he's, he's a very low level. He's a very cool Pokemon, but a very weak one at that. So it's like, you know, if it happens, it happens. He's a soldier in a war. Like, there are casualties. I'm fully accepting of it. I try and prepare myself of it prior. That way, it's not as horrible to me when it does happen. Where'd you come from? Did you just hear your buddy in trouble? Dude, these things are like my arch nemesis on the island. Go to sleep, man. Go to sleep, bro. Is he gonna go to sleep? I don't think he's gonna go to sleep. No, he is looking very much so awake. Yeah, one of you is asleep. All right, the other one's going down too. Don't even mess. Don't even mess. 
It's time to die. It's time to go down. Yeah! Quick, Blastoise, get over here! Get over here, we gotta kill him quick! We gotta kill him quick, man, come on. Hustle your booty on over here. Blastoise isn't the fastest Pokemon ever. He's he's actually quite slow. Blastoise, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is taking kind of a dark twist, because now I'm just kind of chopping up unconscious Pokemon, which... To the naked eye, may seem a little messed up, I'll be honest there. I could see where you would have an issue with that. But the thing is, we need money, we need credits to get our life back in line, and, um, Blastoise over here is just, he's... He's awesome, he's, he's a spectacle, he's a wonder, no doubt, but, I mean, at the same time, he's also... Oh, son of a bitch, that's where we die right there. We have to go around another way. No, we can't, but there is no... Okay, no, if we could get in there... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of weaklings in there, but there's also a whole lake of piran- Yeah, no, 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 wait. Wait. No, wait. Nope, 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 okay, wait, no, 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 man. <laughs> I couldn't sneak between- Son of a bitch, Blastoise, get out of there! Oh my god, don't even mess. Okay, you Blastoise, you better be able to wreck Piranha. I swear to god, Blastoise! Oh my fuck, Blastoise was just ripped apart by Piranhas! <laughs> what is happening to this world? Like, this is why we can't have nice things. Because in Pokemon, there's never any horrible atrocities like that. Like, a creature literally being ripped apart flesh by flesh, limb from limb in front of you into a pool of blood? Jesus Christ! At least Pokemon stop when the other one's unconscious. That's just fucked up. No one's trying to eat each other in the Pokemon world. That is just horrific, man. That, well, well, there we go. Episode 2, we lost all our Pokemon. So where should we go from here, gang? This would be a good time to go over to another server. But no, I'm bringing a Pokemon with me. This is... This is bullshit. <laughs> this world... See, it's good though that this world's difficult. It's not for the faint of heart. You have to be willing to raise warrior Pokemon. You see, this is where things get kind of screwed up. I'm actually just gonna skip this part for the sake of everyone who loves Pokemon. But by the... Just, just, just by the way I need money. By the way, all these little piggy banks are walking around in front of me. By the way, I'm so elegantly holding this sword. And... You can just see where this is gonna go. Son of a bitch, these things do a lot of damage, actually! Hang on, hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god, he's on me! Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, you know what? This is what I get. You attack a Pokemon with a sword, they should all definitely rapidly attack you. Get out of here, bitch. No! Woo! Damn, son! That was crazy. Was that the health one? I didn't- I would've clicked it earlier, but I wasn't sure if it was the health one. Yeah, health capsule! Alright. So, on the positive side, I have 15 more dollars. On the negative side, I'm burning in hell. You really do need fortified armor with these guys. I am looking at the end of my days very soon, no doubt. Okay, nine tails, I swear to God. Please, buddy, just let me pass peacefully through you. I know I don't deserve it. Would be so... Yes, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. No, she's going aggro on him. Okay, wait, no, this is... <laughs> that was like, no, you can't just pick credits up off his body. That's not how this game works. You kind of got to be responsible for the kill. I'm not dealing with you piranha-ass beezies right now. And I'm so not used to having a low-level character with, like, no stamina and everything. It's like, I just, I just jump around freely. I had to jump there. Oh, okay, we're going for it. We're going for it now. We're going for it. I did not mean to go for it. I'm horrified of piranhas. Ever since I watched them rip my Blastoise apart, I don't know. It's been kind of weird with piranhas. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, the same. I could be in the same stomach. I, me and Blastoise could share a poop. We could be digested by the same fish. See, the key is to be very picky with which Pokemon you attack. Literally just these guys, it, and just low-level ones too. If you see one over level 20, 30, you get the hell out of there. Any other Pokemon generally will wreck your face. Face! Face! Crap balls, who's, who's on my face? Pidgeots, you bitch! I hate Pidge Pidgeots! Pidgeots are so versatile. Like, they're like the most hostile things in here. They really are just the Argentavis. They just, they just fly around attacking every corpse they possibly can. Get out of here! Yeah! I've actually killed a very shameful amount of Pokemon. Like, I'm not proud of this at all. This is- I understand how horrific this is right now and how originally I wasn't even gonna show it. Oh, level one, he was basically an infant. Alright, I think I'm good. I don't, I'm not trying to get like a whole bunch of coins again so I can get a Blastoise. There's just- there's just no purpose to it until I have a guarantee he's gonna come out a high level. But I need these to survive. I need them for rare candies to tame things. So that's like, you can't catch a wild Pokemon without rare candies in this mod. You gotta put in their inventory when they're asleep. Thank you, Jesus! Rapidash is an un ignoring me. I almost said uh, annoying me, but he's really not. He's- it's beautiful! That is like one of the most beautiful creatures in here, just because of the flame. These guys are spawning like hotcakes. 
Actually, this whole area is kind of steady spawning with these creatures, and then I assume other biomes do similar things. I hate to interrupt your little floating shiz, but I need money! Okay, I wish I could find more of those guys, because eight credits, that's... That's the bee's knees right there. Right, this should be my last innocent soul taken. Damn you, bitch! Alright, that's convenient, because that's the last innocent soul I can take. Well, there we go, life just works out sometimes. Hello, empty house with no Pokemon in it, how's it going? Oh my god, I left this thing on all day, that's so embarrassing. Alright, well obviously you've got to get more of these first, you dingus. Okay, which one? See, okay, Blaziken, Sound Charmeleon, Garchomp. Her, 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 her. I feel like some of these would be so amazing, but I know for a fact a few of them can't attack yet. Otherwise, I would immediately pick Houndoom right here. I suppose I'm just going rare candies anyway, screw it. It would have been hilarious if I forgot and just... Okay, we can make ten. Ten of these. <whistles> Wait, what? How could we make ten if they got... What? Don't even give me the option for ten if I can't make ten. Two rare candies. What am I, some sort of bottom hoe? Alright, leave half your stuff here because I don't like the thought of carrying... No, I'm saying divide. Divide it! I don't like the thought of carrying all my stuff on me at all. Because this stuff's expensive as hell right here. These are each, these are each so much. Like, um, worth of credits. Okay, my wooden club. I don't need any of you. For the most part. I don't want to carry Pokemon meat on me, that's just brutal. Okay, so it's like five- okay, that makes sense. Dude, my rare candies are expiring fast as shit- oh my god. That is- that's awesome. Dude, but my rare candies though- oh, see, look at this Mewtwo just- dude, oh my god, level 400, are you serious? How am I even supposed to scade that thing? Look how graceful and beautiful it is just flying around. Dude, that is amazing! Holy shit! This is quite the scene right here. Don't fly away, buddy. Don't fly away. All right, I'm going in. I'm gonna try and tame a Mewtwo. It's about to happen. The hunt for the Mewtwo has begun and come to an abrupt end. He just needs to come down a little farther. Come on. Come on down, buddy. Come on, little shit. A little down more. And I uh, got you. Hang on. I almost got you. Almost got you. I imagine this is what Ash went through a lot. <laughs> no, no, no. I remember the movie. Mewtwo was an evil bastard. Mewtwo was crazy. He was just questioning his own existence way too much and did not like the way humans treated Pokemon. Prepare to eat my balls! I can't why I can't understand for the life of me why he wouldn't like the way humans treat Pokemon. This is I'm treating him just fine. Warming his chestnuts on this open electrical prod. It's basically Christmas around here. Get over here, man. Are we doing this shizzle? This is why we need a flying Pokemon. And I'm going to Oh crap. Yes, he's asleep! What the fuck is that? Does he make any sense? Brigandis! Go, 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 go! Is he taming? Is he taming? Put food in his inventory! Put food in his inventory! What? Doesn't make any damn sense. Food? Like the stuff you chew? Can I, should I put my, what? Do you like, do you like cooked steak? Because I assume you're kind of an advanced life form. What do you want to eat? I've given you all of my resources. All my candy and my meat. No homo. Maybe I could chop up a fish? Do you like fish, oh great one? I think Mewtwo's supposed to like rare candies, but he's just- was kind of just added, I'll bet. That's why he's also asleep standing up. Actually, you know what? Mewtwo would totally sleep standing up. Do you like fish, oh great one? What do you want to eat? Dude, that Rapidash just looks like it's in pain. Poor fella. That thing is awesome though, look at that. That is badass right there. That's- that's actually pretty trippy looking. Okay, so Mewtwo, I'm thinking, might not be completed yet. He was just added, and I'm thinking that's why he also went down so insanely easy. There's no way Mewtwo, a level, and like, they're all level 400, in fact. Yeah, look at that. No, there's... You know what? He's definitely not supposed to be tamed yet, is what's going on here. So I'm just, for the sake of the series and for the sake of making it fun, you can't... Like, how... The Pokemon story would have been very different if Ash caught Mewtwo on his first or second day out into the wilderness. Before he... Before Mew, before Pikachu even respected his ass. Pikachu was electrocuting him through, like, the entire first season. He thought... Pikachu thought it was hilarious. So this, for the sake of the series and for the sake of everything, and for the sake of respecting the mod before it's completed, and just saving the series, I will not pursue this tame. I shall wait till a patch comes out, and he becomes a proper foe. But it's still amazing to get a look at him, and just see the... The power. Look how, look how tall he is. Mewtwo's a boss, dude. Mewtwo's awesome. Alright, so let me go ahead and end this episode here. Definitely got my ass beat. There's no- uh, clearly got my ass- I lost all my Pokemon. It was kind of brutal. It was actually very sad. I now realize this isn't like regular Pokemon to the point where you can't walk around with just one. 
You gotta walk around with like 50 Pokemon everywhere you go if you want to stay alive. It makes so much sense to me now. It's just you kind of got to get used to the aspect of it's not just one thing attacking you at once. Now you're in a straight up survival world with Pokemon. So you have to adapt and use both strategies to survive. I get it now, man. And I do apologize to Blastoise, Blastoise and Pidgeot, but their sacrifices will not go in vain. I guess I did use most of my credits on those rare candies, which I gotta go put in something so they don't go bad. But either way, we can start fresh easy, because you just kinda have to kill Pokemon to get credits and get a new starter. And then from there, we shall go on an insane killing taming spree, and we shall take over the world and legit tame every single Pokemon. I can't wait. We will catch them all. So yeah, that wraps up this episode. If you had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you more. Also, if you want to see, this isn't part of the survival series anymore, but I am extremely excited that Mewtwo's in the game. So I am about to mess with him a little bit, just not literally, it's, none of it's going to affect the series at all. So if you want to see his moves, how he does stuff, and that kind of stuff, which I'm sure you all do, because I'm sure you're all just as excited for Mewtwo as I am, definitely make sure, well it's going to happen right now. This is after the video. It's officially not the video anymore. Holy balls, look at me just riding on top of Mewtwo. And it's not even gay because he's like such an advanced life form that he supersedes sexuality. He doesn't even care if I get a boner. So here's Mewtwo. You can legit ride around it. Yeah, it's definitely, this would have ruined the entire series if I just had him. If I took advantage of him being initially added early so he wasn't a, a, like an official challenging tame, that would just be so crappy. Let's look at your moves. Holy balls! He shoots powers out of his hands. Yes, he needs that move. That move would send every time Ash would get Pikachu and run towards him all, all dramatic like he would just do that. And then he'd go flying back like crazy. Alright, the extraterrestrial life form sets down. Beautiful. You can just hover on the ground with him. This is amazing too. Mewtwo does not touch his feet to the ground. Dirty, dirty human floor. He only floats. He's that baller. Dude, this is amazing. Look at this guy. Holy crap. He's such a, he's such a challenger to be added to the thing. And think, so many Manu, just, so many Manupu, so many new Pokemon are about to be added to the world like tomorrow too. So it's just gonna get crazier and crazier. I hope I don't level up off this, but I have to try it out on a Pokemon. Holy shit! Yeah, this would be so unfair if this was the like the, this was in my inventory. Jesus Christ! The Dilo and a Pidgeot picking apart a Pokemon. It's beautiful when worlds can come together. Okay, that level up was kind of oh, it's leveling Mewtwo. He's gonna get deleted anyways in a second. I just want to see his powers. Look at it! It literally is. It's making me burp. That's how crazy it is. Everything. Stop making me burp. Everything you aim it at. Okay, at least his stamina runs dry. That's gotta be it. Yep, pretty much all. Like, oh, now I'm getting credits. I'm not throwing away those credits either. I deserve those credits. <laughs> at least you don't get credits when you um. Okay, yeah, that was because I forced Tame Josie. Like, how are you level 486? That's nuts. So here's Mewtwo, ladies and gentlemen, added to the game and about to make the series so much crazier. Also a lot more terrifying, seeing as how he could probably one-shot us with this thing. Thank God I was flying right beneath him. I mean, I was right beneath him flying. Because this... Look at it, that is just, that's just one-shot laser beam. That's Death Star beam right there, man. Say goodbye to Alderaan, bitch. This is too much. I'm excited. I only wish Ark wasn't having some sort of really weird temperature thing going on, or climate thing going on. I can't even see his proper colors. It's like Halloween temperature. Yep, it, it kills everything. Everything in one shot, and that is brutal. Alright, say goodbye to Mewtwo, everybody. May we kick his ass ridiculously hard in the next episode. And yeah, if you had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Stop.